Scorpio, Scorpio, how are you? How are you? Welcome to your bonus, y'all. All right, so we're going to jump into it and see what we have for you, okay, for your bonus message. So if this does resonate, Scorpios, you know what to do. Like the video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist link below in the description box, okay? So hopefully, if this doesn't resonate, you got a message down there that resonates for you. All right, so... For those of you who are new here, just know that it's not going to resonate for every Scorpio. It's a general, not a personal read, all right? So it's not going to resonate for every Scorpio, all right? So let's see what we have here when it comes to your bonus messages. All right, what's going on for Scorpio? Bonus messages, please. What's going on for Scorpio? Bonus message, bonus read for Scorpio. What's the energy? moving forward ah wow so you guys are definitely in an energy where you're like i'm done i've learned from this i'm moving on i want to move to a new place a new city a new town a new country for some of you yeah you, you're just not taking the bull crap anymore i feel like you're at a place where it's not a permanent situation like you're saying you're not coming back to this situation or to this energy i just feel like you are looking for a change and you're moving forward so anything that happened in the past you guys you guys are moving from that you're moving towards something new all right i don't feel like you're by yourself you might have a child with you this is what i'm seeing for some of you okay and you're very determined doing this all right so some of you might be going for new love i'm seeing gemini's energy even Aries energy very determined energy and older energy I feel like you're drawn to this person. So a lot of you are moving towards something that is new. You, you're leaving something behind, okay? And then you're moving towards a new situation. This is what I'm seeing here. Very passionate about this. No one can stop you right now. This feels too good. This feels too good. A lot of you might be moving and you're going to meet someone new. Gemini energy. Aries energy. These are master energies coming out here. Tell me more. Let's see. Let's see. I feel like you're highly attracted to this person and vice versa. They're going to be highly attracted. This is going to make sense. This is what I'm seeing. Like it's making sense. Wow. Okay. A nurturing energy. I feel like you guys are going to help each other. I'm seeing a motherly figure here. Okay, like someone is being very nurturing and kind, you know, taking care of things. I feel like you're putting an end to a cycle. Something that happened in the past and you want to change. You're done with, it, with whatever was happening over and over again. You're setting healthy boundaries and speaking up for yourself. You're not afraid. Very highly, you know, powerful, but also full of authority. You're really just letting this person know what you're not going to tolerate. And I'm also getting like this person has something that's going on within their lives as well. I don't feel like it's something permanent, like it's not going to change. I feel like it's hope that things could change. But if this person does things the correct way. So they could be stuck in something or have a child with someone else or have a, their, you know, their own situation going on here that is a toxic environment. And it's like rolling into your situation okay so there's money issues as well that needs to be very much yeah look at that Ooh, be careful because i'm seeing you're very nurturing and kind and you're given you're given you're given within this relationship and you have to remember that yeah it's it's okay to give and to you know help this person out but just make sure it's balanced and I don't feel like this relationship is a balanced one, you know, because here you have the five of pentacles, which you are struggling. You're struggling to keep up this household and you're losing your financial independent independence. So I feel like you're giving everything to this energy and losing yourself in the meanwhile. So you need to be careful, but you're trying to set healthy boundaries and let this person know, but you're so kind Manipulation 101, you guys, even though you're strong, still be manipulated, still feeling used in the five of pentacles. You need to be careful. Okay. 
Wow, the Ace of Wands. Let's see, let's see. The strength. The angels are saying, hey, you need to really, really be strong here and take back your power and fix the situation because it's not like a situation that cannot be fixed. But I feel like you feel trapped. You feel trapped. You moved from something else into some some a new situation because we're done with the past, right? You're done with the past. You wanted to change. You were trying to set healthy boundaries and here you are in the same situation. So this is the message for you. This is the message for you. Oh my goodness, okay. Sometimes you can't run away. You can't run away from your past. And this is why I'm gonna tell you this, okay? Because before I forget, because the messages come and go, okay? I feel like what happened here was you were learning a lesson, Wheel of Fortune. You were learning a lesson from your past and you didn't complete that lesson, even though the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse because you're sick and tired. You left the situation. So you left the energy. You left this energy permanently from your past, okay, without learning the lesson. And what the angels does or the universe, they try to balance everything back out because you need to remember that you're here to learn something. You're here in the physical world to learn something. Remember, we had past lives before, if you believe in that or not, but I truly do. You have past lives before that you experience. You're here to experience a, a, a certain situations, okay? Not every one of us are here to be in love, and you already did that in a past life. That's why some of you love your alone time because now you're, you're feeling like you need this alone time, like you need this energy, and some of you feel like you need this energy, but for somehow this, this energy keeps coming in your life where you need to be in a relationship, like someone is trying to force you to be with them because that's something that you need to learn because you haven't learned that in a past life, right? So I feel like with this lesson that you are running away from, you didn't learn what you need to learn. So the angels put someone else into your path to learn the same situation, to learn the same lesson because you're, you're sick and tired of this person. You're not dealing with this person anymore. You don't wanna see them. For some of you moved away. You moved away from this person. <clears throat> some of you moved out of country. <sighs> distance yourself, okay? And you fell very, very quickly and heavily with someone else. And you thought this was different, but now you're going through a lot of situations, okay? With this devil energy. This person doesn't have to be the devil, but they have in this in this instance, they're they're in the you know the upwards motion. So it's like this either their environment, their environment is very toxic. It doesn't have to be them because toxic energy is fluid, like this it flows, right? Energy flows. So you could have a positive life, right? And then you have someone like say your mother and your father that is really toxic and they're just there in your life. And then you meet someone, that person is gonna have to experience that same toxic environment that you've been dealing with. And it's not you that's toxic, it's your family. But they're rolling that in. So just keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be them that's completely toxic. It can be that they have a baby mother, that they have a baby daddy, you know, and they're just dealing with a lot of things that they need to tie up. And in the process, there it's coming into your life, okay? And I'm also seeing money. It's like you want to help this person, but there is some kind of loan money coming out of this household and not enough coming back in. So this person ain't paying you back nothing, okay? You're losing money and you're losing your freedom. You're losing your independence. You're losing your power, all right? So be very careful with that. And now you feel stuck like you're in the same situation. You're restricted. You can't leave. What you're going to do now? Can't run away because there's a lesson for you to learn. What is the lesson here? What is the lesson here? Oh, my gosh. I feel like the angels are saying, hey, you're strong enough to deal with this. This is going to end. This is what I'm seeing with this nut of um this nut of pentacles, okay? But it's going to take time. Why am I hearing that you want things to happen overnight? It's because of fear. And I had this conversation with you and Gemini because you're the most you you and Gemini is the most um most supportive people on the channel, okay? Fear and love. We are here to learn both. Both. And we have to be careful not to choose fear. 
especially when we love someone. If you love someone, don't be fearful of, oh my God, this person is going to hurt me. Oh my God, you know, they're not, they don't have a job. Oh my God, um, I'm going to have to be everything for that person. Or, oh my God, they're going to leave me for someone else. They're going to cheat on me and things haven't happened yet. <laughs> You know, so don't be fearful because somebody did that to you or this person might have hurt you once before and they seem like they are genuine and they want another chance and then you feel that love for them, right? But you're afraid. So you feel like, oh my God, nope, nope, I love them, but they they used my ass before. <laughs> but So I'm not gonna even give them another chance. And then you're miserable because you're waiting for someone new out of fear. And this is why the angels don't give you what you want because you're leaving a situation not out of love, but out of fear. That means that whole, that's why when I read you guys cards, the past always come up because it's not closed. You haven't closed. You haven't learned the lesson. This is what that is. You haven't learned the lesson, y'all. Tell me more. Okay. All right. So this person is afraid. Okay. Like there's some things that need to come to the surface with this relationship, but there's a fear here. Okay. There's a slow process here. Just like I said before, this is going to, if you want this to work, hard work, you're going to have to put in the work. You know, those um, relationships I, I think I brought this up too. Like, you know, people that have been together for 30 years and like, yeah, it's beautiful, right? We have a big house. We have children. We have this. We have money. We are very, very comfortable. And yeah, we are holding hands and kissing and loving on each other. But it was hard to get here. <laughs> it was hard to get here. If I tell you my story, you wouldn't, this is, some, this is something that you wouldn't want to stay in. This is something that you, but you see at the end of it all, oh my God, we are living in happiness finally. But it was hell. It was hell. Okay? They would tell you. Hard work. This person could, could. I feel like I'm seeing like they're going to have, because I'm feeling like somebody's struggling right now. And I feel like this person is going to have a, 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 a offer to them but it's going to take a while it's going to take a while and it's going to take some time and it's going to take some hard work for them to get to your level because you're coming off as an older energy to this person an older energy even though they're coming off as oh my god the devil is less like so, so aged but that's just the way their personality is you know the situation it's like stuck in them dry too and so they're reflecting off of that energy but I feel like in the justice, you know, this person has been very unfair to you as well because of their toxic environment, their toxic personality, their toxic traits. They have been unjust to you. And this is why karma is coming back to bite them. So they need to be very, very careful. I'm seeing good energy coming towards you. But the angels are also saying and to remind you that you are strong enough to deal with this. You are strong enough to deal with this, this struggle. You're strong enough to do it. Only if you believe. You have to believe in yourself, right? You have to believe in yourself. But you're going to have a lot of arguments, you guys. A lot of arguments. This is something that you're going to have to work through. I don't see communication here. None of you are... Oh, that's a lie. Let me take that back. King of Swords. King of Swords. Yeah. So you're going to bring this up to this person. But you're going to feel like you're falling into the same thing. I'm seeing that you're going to have a conversation with this person. Okay. Tell me more. I don't know if I said Aries, Gemini. Okay. We also have a Capricorn energy, a Leo, Libra. Okay. Tell me more work <laughs> oh my god i told y'all you're gonna have to work hard but i feel like you have you don't have a problem look at your energy though you have the emperor here you have a determined energy to make this right the queen of wands i mean come on a lot of fire energy within you 
by the way. A lot of fire energy within you. You want to make this work. The angels are saying, hey, you're going to have to work. It's like a confirmation. Work, honey. Work on this. Okay, but remember to be joyful, remember to be happy, playful at the same time. Don't be serious because, of course, when we're working on a relationship, it, you forget to be happy, you forget to be joyful, everything becomes business. They're warning you about that, okay? Set healthy boundaries between each other, okay? Make a schedule. This is what I'm seeing also, like when it's time to work, when it's time to play, Okay. Death, your energy, Scorpio. You're going through a transition. Your energy is here. All right. Look at that energy. This is what it's saying. Like the death energy, y'all. You are here. You are here. This is meant for you. This is meant for you. You're going through a transition. You're going through a lesson. A lesson. It's all about a lesson, y'all. It's all about a lesson. You're growing. And then we have collaboration, so conversation. So you're going to be working really hard together. This is what I'm seeing. You're both going to be working really hard together. I feel like if anything, you're teaching this person something about you teaching them how to be responsible, how to be um, successful, because this person has a spending issue or asking or someone that just think that the world is going to come to them. Like they think that things are just going to happen for them. Follow your instincts when it comes to love, you guys. Love. We just talked about that. Don't choose fear because fear is just going to hold you back. And then you're going to experience one of these again. Because that's what happened before. Fear. This is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. And I hope you enjoy your bonus. And I love you guys. And I will see you guys in your next video. Bye, guys.